Hi, I'm Denny Brower, Wired to Fish TV, and flipping and pitching are great, great ways to fish heavy cover and get big fish out of that heavy cover, but you got to have the proper equipment and the proper technique or you're just going to struggle with it. And I recommend getting a rod at least seven foot long, preferably about seven and a half foot long. It gives you the leverage to really get those fish out of the cover. Of course, I've got my signature Arden F700 reel. It's designed for flipping and pitching. That's what I've got on. And I use heavy line. I never go below 20 pound test. Some people like to drop down to 17 or 15 in clear water, but I really think you're defeating the purpose. I think you need the strong line to get them out of the cover. And the technique, if you've never done it before, have the bait about even with the reel. And this is the pitching technique. And just grab the back of the bait and hang on to it. Don't let go of it. And as you raise the rod up, you let go of the bait. Just let it come out of your hand, just like that. And the upward motion of the rod will propel the lure out there. Now, the faster you bring the rod up, the further you're going to be able to get it. So if you really wind up like that, you can get it a long way and you can get it up underneath boat docks and willow trees and next to stumps, wherever you think that fish may be laying. Uh, the pitching technique I use a lot, especially in clear water, because I don't want to get too close to those fish and spook them. So I'm staying back and using this. And always about that distance of line, about even with the reel, is about the perfect amount of line to have. I'm left-handed, so it's in my left hand. You're right-handed, so you're going to probably have your handles up like that as you make the presentation. Now, the flip itself, when you get real close, say matted grass, dirty water, get the handful of line, lure even with the reel, and just an underhand swing of the rod, and as you're swinging the bait forward, you're letting the line in this hand slide through your fingers and you're getting the hand right back to the reel. You engage the reel, and now you've got a piece of line that is ideal to work close to fish with. Uh, you need to learn to keep your boat a certain distance from the cover, or you're going to end up with too much line or not enough line. It's going to be real awkward. So once you figure out what your wingspan is, and you got that bait even with the reel again, then you got to keep your boat the same distance from the cover so that when you make this little flip into the cover, you're not too close or too far away. Now you can let it sink and you're ready to set the hook. Uh, both techniques together will allow you to get that lure in the places where the biggest bass in the lake live, shallow water, heavy cover.